now we are able to produce the data from food now it's time let's write the consumer uh, so that we can consume the data so coming to our project here kafka chapter 1 so in this uh, project itself i want to create a consumer like a microservice data consumer i want to consume the microservices data here so what is the processor dot so inside that no proper packaging i need here move to package okay so i got it uh, uh, i want to refactor it actually uh, inside data uh, this one i want to have into data dot processor this not there so i'll create that and i'll just move it here all right so i'll write all the processors here processor logic actually so we'll have our main method so as i already told you in real time this is entirely a different microservice that is going to be there so first uh, what i need i need kafka consumer and kafka consumer logic we already know how to write it so we'll copy the code from the event consumer that we had so up to this point i can copy and paste it here kafka consumer it is already there so i can just remove it so now this consumer will have to subscribe to set of the topics arrays dot as list and here it is microservice so microservice topic it is going to there uh, so i want to listen the data continuously so i have to go to the infinite loop you can have this loop conditional also uh, till the time you want to listen it next i have to pull the data consumer dot pull duration dot of millis uh, maybe 100 milliseconds of data i want to pull it and uh, let's uh, create local variable for this one it is going to give us records and now let's iterate through this one record dot value we don't have keys actually Uh, we are not sending the keys uh, when producing the data. The significance of key you already know from the theory lecture. It will make sure that your data ends up in a particular partition only. So, for the sake of uh, just to see this, we can uh, we can print that as well. Record dot key plus separator and this one. We can see this one. So now this uh, this is good, right? so we pulled the data we are printing the data so that means any kind of processing that business logic i need around my the events that are in the microservice is going to be in this method okay so we are going to this one so if i run it i should be able to see the microservice topic uh, one more configuration i want to give so group id configuration uh, is important so group id should be different actually for each processor so i can give code form microservice here and one more thing uh, that offset commit i want to give here properties dot for consumer config auto offset reset config uh, it is going to be earliest so as soon as it is done it should uh, like uh, it should uh, send uh, auto offset commit means that whenever you are processing the events you need to communicate to the cluster that i'm done with the processing of this offset in this event so that cluster can increment the offset and uh, next time you go and pull the cluster you should start from the next one 
So that configuration like many values are around this one. One is one of that earlier. So we'll see more around this as well. For now, let's see uh, this. This is the configuration that we have. Okay. So now we have microservices data consuming. So similarly, we can have all the consumers. So we have written one, right? So just this first run it, but let's see we are able to see the data here or not. So run this one. If everything goes fine, we should be able to see the data. Yeah, you can see we are able to see the data here, right? So null is the key and rest of the things are the events that are coming. So it is continuously running because of this while loop. So just stop this one and write other consumers that we have. We will see how is it is like uh, now once you have written one, all of that is just copy paste. So microservice Kafka data consumer. So for this one, I just have to change this group ID and this topic name i can paste this now uh, other data we have chat gpt for this one chat gpt chat gpt and paste it one more time for others So let's make sure topic name is other or others. Uh, data filtering service is there. So it is others. Okay, all right. Chart GPT others data consumer. It is others. Other stop. No, this one. Sorry, this one. Okay. Now we are good. So microservice data we already have seen. Let's see the Kafka data consumer executed. Now we are seeing the Kafka events here, right? And uh, let's run others. So this is running uh, in a while loop. So I am not stopping that and simultaneously run the chart gpt also three threads are running three main methods are running here uh, so simultaneously let's run main microservice also and i'll run the producer once again Yes, other data consumer, you can see, we can see the data here. Kafka also, we can see the data here. Microservice data consumer, it is still running, let it complete. So other console, we have uh, Kafka data consumer that we already have seen. Kafka chapter and other is the microservice. Yeah, microservice data was already consumed. Uh, we already had executed one so if you see the offset part offset is already incremented for that consumer so that is why i am not able to see any events here going forward if there is any event published to this one then they will be able to see that so let's for that to happen let's run our producer once again so this is the publisher code if i run it again i should be able to see the data in this microservice and once again others as well Yeah, it is executed. Go to the microservice one. Yeah, I can see the events here, right? Chat GPT. Again, I can see a lot of data here. Kafka, I can see more data here, right? So that is it about the consumers here. So all the refactoring and all that, you already can do that, I think. So code reusability and all that. So you see Kafka producer, I copied this code. So refactoring, I think you already can do. So the purpose of this project was to show you the realistic thing, producing the event, consuming the event on the different topics. Okay. So if I show you here, here also the consumers are running. So this 64 messages it processed. So it is, so any kind of in a single topic, we can have multiple consumers as well. So this is consuming from the console. We consumed from the 
be consumed from the code also so that our purpose is full till now if you have completed and it is running your local system so you have got a lot of understanding about the kafka it's time you jump into the advanced configuration all right so uh, with that i would like to end this one so there is one more small video i'll, I'll cover around this project only so uh, just just to finalize the thing so see you in the next one take care bye bye